Productivity has become a huge word in our vocabularies in recent years. We as human beings try to squeeze every last second out of every day just to be able to call ourselves productive. Myself, I have become victim to that word as well, forcing myself to change the way I handle ideas, scripts, and lists. And it's not using an app like Notion for everything in my life. I do use Notion, but only for this YouTube channel and my other social media channels. But Apple Notes is my app of choice. So here are a few reasons why I chose Apple Notes. And the last one is a pretty big deal. First, before we get into the video, if you are new here, welcome. My name is Evan and I make weekly tech videos. Be sure to check out a few of my other videos down below. And if you like what you see, maybe consider clicking that subscribe button. Thank you. All right. So let's start out on where I began. When I first started this whole process, I like many began using Evernote. It was what majority of people were using and it had the best features at that time. The free features were still very good. And for devices, I was on both Android and iOS. But once Evernote started taking away those features from the free section, I had to ask myself whether I wanted to pay for the ability to use the app. So I did. I continued to use Evernote for quite a bit. More and more features would be released. And really, it is a great app. Well worth it if you use all of the different features. But I became curious and wanted to check out some of the other note-taking apps. As one of the big problems with Evernote was the look and feel of the app. Being on both Android and iOS, I couldn't help but feel like there were two different apps at certain points. This was a big problem in the earlier days of Android. Their apps were always behind iOS in that of updates. So coming over to Apple Notes, having everything look and feel the same across all of my devices was a good change. And no longer did I have to hunt for that thing I was looking for if I was on a different device. Even in the web browser on a PC, Notes looks the same. It is a basic clean look across all phone, tablet, PC, Mac, everything and it syncs within seconds of any changes that I make. How I take notes has changed a couple of times over the years. When I first started, I created a note, gave it some kind of title, and left it there for when I would need it next. Organized, I was not. But when you're starting out, it will seem like you don't need it. But trust me, you do. So I have tried a few system over the years, and the one that has seemed to stick is Tiago Forte's PARA method, which stands for Project, Areas, Resources, and Archive. I won't break this down exactly, I'll link his video down below. If you are interested, you can check it out. But now, I take the note, and instead of leaving it in the general notes folder, I tag it with the proper hashtags and move it into that proper folder of where I know I will find this later, which saves me a lot of time and keeps me from having to remember all the little things that come up during the day and where I put that note. As the worst feeling is finally getting some time to do the thing you thought of and all of a sudden you can't remember it. Hopefully it comes back to you, but if it doesn't, it is gone until you remember it or even forever, as our minds are made for creating, not remembering. So one of the great things about Apple Notes is it is also a great place to store templates for certain repetitive tasks that you do daily, weekly, monthly, or even yearly. For me, my weekly YouTube videos are made inside of Notes, so I have a template created and at the bottom of the template I have the hashtag template. So this allows me to search or simply click the template hashtag in the main section of the dashboard. That brings up every note with that tag, much easier than writing out the same thing over and over. But to use the template, and this depends whether you are on macOS or iOS, but all you need to do on macOS is duplicate the template 
and then give it a different name and away you go. On iOS, Notes does not allow you to duplicate. So you will need to select all from the template, copy it and paste it into a new note using the proper hashtag. That way you no longer need to remember the exact order of doing things. It is kept in your note for you each time you perform that task. Hashtags are a great way to have more than one topic on a note and being able to bring it up when thinking about something. So if I am planning some changes to my office and I am storing pictures of inspiration and layouts that I like, I can use more than one hashtag. I can use office, I can use setup, I can use YouTube and so on. Then when I am looking at those particular hashtags, that note will come up with each one selected. When only using folders, the note will only be displayed when you are in that particular folder. It's great for when you have built quite a library of notes and able to narrow down your notes to certain areas rather than generic folders. Another great feature is the ability to create a note using a picture. This is a great way to store receipts and a great tip is to store important sections of manuals that you know you are going to need or use. If you write down important codes or anything else important, you can picture it and store it and use extra security on the folder. More on that later. But when you take a picture, if you notice that part of the receipt is cut off, you can edit the picture to adjust the scan and make sure everything is properly scanned. Also with Apple Notes, you will have the ability to use smart folders. If we expand on the use of hashtags, we can create a smart folder, assign the hashtags that we want to use with this folder, and now Notes will do the filing for you. Rather than creating the note and having to move it to the proper folder, we can just assign the proper hashtag and it will automatically be placed in the smart folder. So for my receipts folder, we can assign receipts and personal as we would also want receipts and business if we have a business receipts. And you can also change normal folders into smart folders by assigning hashtags. And once you assign a hashtag to a standard folder, that folder will become a smart folder and will start filing your notes automatically. And of course, another feature when using Apple hardware with Apple software, you know, you are getting the best experience. And Apple did have some issues earlier on with voice dictation, but in recent years, they have improved it immensely. And now I can confidently say that I can dictate an entire script using voice dictation and it will grab 99 or hundred percent of what I say. But if I go back and read, I can usually put in the words that it may have missed. No problem. That function on the phone and the new quick note function on the iPad, when I want to write something down rather than type it or say it, just tapping the screen with the pencil, jotting down my note, locking it, and that note is automatically stored on all of my devices in the quick note sections for the next time when I sit down and am ready to deal with that note. And for the final reason, which is the big one, is security. Apple Notes is secure. They are not scanning my notes. Apple does not have access to my notes. They are encrypted with my password, my face ID, my touch ID. Therefore, having any notes that are extremely personal, you can feel safe that they are stored securely. And with the ability to add password protection to any note, all you need to do is simply right click or click and hold on the note, choose lock note, put in your secure password, and now anyone without that password even if they get into your device or account, they now need that password as well. Please use this for your own security if you do keep your password list on your device. If it is on your computer desktop, move it out of there and put it somewhere securely like a password manager or in notes that is encrypted and secure it with an extra single password. So there it is. These are the reasons why I have moved everything over to Apple Notes. Let me know what you are using and how you like it down in the comments. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you next week.